Hi, everybody. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Welcome to Long Island. These two teams meeting for the first time here in this series. Ray, a quick thought on this one? Everything becomes magnified in a playoff series. Game one means so much because you want to get the jump on your opponent, but all you can worry about is your shift, your next time on the ice. It is such a fun time of the year to play. Two teams hungry for two points, and we are ready to drop the puck. The quest for Lord Stanley's mug continues right here tonight, and we are underway. Denied by the goaltender. Nice zone entry on the left side. Along the half wall with the puck. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. What a steal in his own end. Can't catch up to the pass. And the always popular icing call made. And you know what that means, Ray? Now, offensive zone faceoff, man. He missed the play going down the ice. And that's a gimme icing. Now they can't change. You've got tired guys on the ice. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. New York's got it in the defensive zone. A one faceoff allows a clean breakout out of your zone. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. New York's in now. Good use of the body on the play. Scrum along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Now a quick pass to Lee. Right in the slot. Here's a chance in front. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Koskinen. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Takes the feed from the left side. And now it's over to Nugent Hopkins. And a penalty coming up here as the officials all over that as they saw him slow him up. Let's see the call here. Bailey's going off for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. Both teams lining up for the face off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. Hey, here's a power play, and the game is scoreless. What a nice opportunity for them to kick the other team in the shins a little bit, get the lead, and play from in front. Sends it quickly to Pugliarvi. Ahead of steam now towards the front, and he regains control of the puck. And that's blocked. Trying to get it down the ice, and it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, it's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Nice zone entry from the left. From point blank range. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Quick feed to Yamamoto. Move to the middle. And that one's broken up. And the puck leaves the zone. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Pass across to Pugliarvi. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. The Oilers are going to have to move it up quickly here if they're going to capitalize on this power play. Block. Oh, he got it away quickly. The puck just doesn't get to the net. Gains the zone from the right side. Still tied here as the, he scores a quick road goal. I'm telling you, every meeting says, let's start quick. I don't know if the road team felt it could be this quick. It's a long series, but it's always nice to get the first goal of the series. They're in the back of the net first. Edmonton's first goal has completely silenced this home crowd. Everybody's expecting a quick start from the home team when it doesn't happen. Everyone, fans and players, are back on their heels a bit. Takes a bump and hangs on. Puts it in deep. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Sends it over to Russell. Four minutes, 15 seconds. The Oilers move it in. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. And they can convert to the play. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Clutterbuck. Into the offensive zone. Sends it over. Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. And he can't hang on after that hit. And now it's grabbed by Cassian. The Islanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. 
Looking for space inside the D zone. New York's grabbed a hold of the puck. Moves it to Clutterbuck. Dumps it in. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Quick pass to Larson. And he coughs it up with the pass. The Islanders have done a really good job with their positioning. When they don't have the puck, they've been able to pick off several passes tonight. Into the attacking end. Slides it across. And that one's broken up. Great defensive stick work on the play. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. The Oilers grab possession to the puck. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. New York's got possession at center. Scooped up along the wall by Barry. Feeds the puck across to Dreisaitl. That pass doesn't go. Pulak's moving the puck through his own zone. Pinned up along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Yamamoto. Cutting to the front of the net. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here they are on the attack. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a 1-0 game to this point. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Trying to get back on the attack now. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Played big in the moment there. Puck scooped up by Everley. Here's a short pass to Barzell. They fight for it along the boards. Strong defensive effort. And they fail to go tape to tape. Koskinen's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. The centermen glide into position. Nice job tying up his opponent. Keeps a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Mayfield. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Nice pass. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Quick feed to Pacho. Takes the pass. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone. Gets it over to Pajo. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Tripped him up, and he's off to the box for it, Ray. Reaching out for the puck, you get your stick into his feet. This is the consequence. Edmonton's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed, and it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. Ten minutes, 17 seconds. Quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. Picked up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. Turned that one aside. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Nice poke check. The Oilers going to work on offense. Had the corner and he misses. From my spot, it looks like it's going in, but he just whipped it wide. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Slides the pass over to Nugent Hopkins. To his teammate, turns it away. We often talk about a goal reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Barlamov's teammates are going to be thrilled with that stop. That's a tough test on the wrister. Well past the midway mark of this. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And a successful clearing attempt. The Oilers have it against the wall. Moving into the attacking zone. New York's PK unit comes up clutch. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. 
Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. New York's ready to go on the attack. Moves it over to Cassian. Gains the zone. Sends it in on the attack. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. New York's got it in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to pull off. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Taken along the wall by Everly. Pokes it away in his own end. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The Oilers don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. I guess at a certain point you gotta let the guy go, but he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. The Islanders get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Down one, a chance to tie on the power play. What a great chance for them here. But you can't stress, you have to be confident and aggressive, but don't force anything. Edmonton's got it across the line. Excellent stick work on the play. Here's a short pass to Nelson. Gains the zone through the middle. New York's got the puck against the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. More than half the frame has been played here. The Oilers have taken a 1-0 lead. The Islanders win it. Puts it to the front of the net. Oh, he got all of that with a blocker. What a stop by Koskinen. Great reflexes, another save. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Big stop by the keeper. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Nurses stick handling in his own zone. Tries to make that cross ice feed. And all alone on the breakaway. Pokes it away. Oh, what a gamble on the play. I think he surprised the shooter. He went to the poke check, and the puck's gone. Taken by Barzell. New York's got it behind the net. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Edmonton's lead is still intact after a solid effort by the penalty killing unit. Well, not much. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Puck picked up by Barzell. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Hooking's the call. This is what yeah. they kind of call the lazy penalty these days, yeah, right? Yeah, it is, but, it, but really the problem is you're beat and you panic and you're trying to help. And the more you help, the worse it gets. Go sit down. And he certainly dug himself a hole there. New York's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. You gotta have a short memory on a power play. You haven't scored yet tonight, but that can't matter on this one. Get the puck back to the point, start moving it around and get people converging at the net. Scrum ensues along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Everly. A chance right in front, scores! No extra time needed here. They get onto the power play and take advantage of that man power. They move the puck nicely and it's in the net. Play's job is to create shots, and if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center in the slot, he doesn't miss. Here in the late going of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Here's a shot. Oh, a clutch save. Barlamov sharp to make that stop. And it's a quick pass to Yamamoto. Here's a shot. And that goes off a player in front. And now he tries to get it across to Barry. Puts the puck on net. And that carries off a stick. Great hustle to come up with the puck. Moves it quickly over to Cahoon. New York's gained possession along the boards. 
Clutterbox got it in the defensive end. From center, they get into the attacking area. Shoots it, and there's the save. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Varlamov's on top of this. That's an enormous stop on a scoring chance. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. New York's got it, and they're on the attack. From the slot, wrist shot, hits in! He scores! A couple goals in right around a minute and 50 seconds. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. The goalie's barely in position here. That puck is snapped back so quickly, he can't react to the shot. New York's been preaching better starts. They've got that with a one-goal lead, Ray. They've got the lead. It's in the first period. There's lots of game left, but their coaches are talking about staying on the front foot to be aggressive. And now he angles it across to Neal. Sends a pass over. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Good defensive stop with the poke check. New York's got the puck along the boards. Time of the goal. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Rocks them. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Gains the zone through center. Officials' arms going up in the air. He caught that hook, too. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Boychuk's going to get two for hooking on the play. That's kind of a bad penalty to take. You reach out with your hands, and the referee sees your stick parallel to the ice. He's going to call it most times. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. The way you drive a power play is get one puck at the front of the net, but then you back it up with multiple efforts. Sends it down low. Couldn't connect on that pass. The Islanders will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Picked up along the boards by Barry. Takes the feed. And with the sound of the horn, that brings some finality to the opening period, and we've got a close one. Looking for the latest news, scores, and statistics? Check out our team website for video highlights, player features, and great merchandise from our online store. Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, 
and period number two is about set to go. Edmonton's power play is still intact as this period is now underway, and they take possession. New York's got the puck shorthanded. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official, and the play's whistled dead. Let's get the call. Nugent Hopkins has been called for holding. Pretty tough to argue when you've got your hand wrapped around the guy's arm. Penalty for holding. A little four-on-four four coming up here. The game on almost every level has moved to a puck possession game. Really, really important four-on-four. Four. Grabbed along the boards by Nurse. Quick feed to Bear. And now he moves it to McDavid. The Islanders have it from their own end. Moves it to Lee. Puck grab by Neal. Battle along the boards. And the puck's kicked free. Picked up along the wall by McDavid. From the left side, they gain the zone. Handles the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. The Islanders have put a lot of pucks on net, and they continue to lead here early in the second. Dreisaitl's won the draw. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. It's an opportunity for the power play unit to go to work now as the penalty expires. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. The Islanders take it along the wall. The Oilers take possession of the neutral zone and makes the save. look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. We're still in the early stages of this period. New York's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. The Oilers win the draw. Slides the puck over. Quick pass to Nelson. New York's got the puck along the wall. And a great job by the shorthanded unit those last few moments as the penalty expires. Too passive. Not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers. Really doesn't become a dangerous power play. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Oilers win the draw. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Play rolls on. Edmonton's looking to break out. The Oilers are in transition. Takes the pass from the left wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Bear. Too much traffic in the lane. Hammers one. With all kinds of traffic, he grabs the puck here inside his own end. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Here he is with the backhander. And he denied that opportunity. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. And he feeds it down to Bailey. New York's across the blue line. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And now it's over to Chase on. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. New York's got the puck at the defensive end. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. He got all of that one. Tries to feed it over to Neal. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Taken along the wall by Chason. New York's got control of it now from their own end. And that puck leaves the zone. Looking to set up offensively. Big play inside the defensive zone. Edmonton's on the attack. The Oilers have it against the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Letty. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Huge steal in his own end. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Couldn't complete the play. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Islanders go to work on offense. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Tourist. Centering pass! And that one's blocked! 
through center along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Everly and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And here's the pass to Cahoon. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Point blank stop by Varlamov. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Jones uses his skating skill to get into position to throw this huge hit. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Islanders are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. And they'll dump it in. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. New York's ready to go on the attack. Turn that chance aside. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. And that's broken up. Couldn't make that one happen. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. Stop that one. Peugeot's moving it ahead. Maintains possession. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Can't keep a hold of it. Quick feed to Pacho. Puck scooped up by Del Cole. Takes the feed. Picked up along the boards by Yamamoto. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Receives the pass. Across the line from center. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. New York's gained possession along the boards. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Edmonton's on the attack. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the call from the official. The Oilers will serve two minutes in the box. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. The power play unit goes right back to work. As someone who played a lot on the power play, you get one early in a game, it gives you more confidence. They look like they're ready to get another one. Moussa to lead. Here's a shot, and that goes off a player. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck under man. They get it out of the defensive end. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Quick pass to Cassian. Fires it into the offensive zone. They fight for it along the boards. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Cassian. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. And that's intercepted. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Oilers gain control of it. Here's a short pass to Larson. Sails over the net. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Nelson's got the puck. Moved out in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Moves the puck. New York's looking to break out of their own end. Taken by Cassian. Sends the pass over with the stop. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Slides it over to Bailey. Smart defensive play there. Moves it quickly over to Cassian. Here's a shot. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Quick feed to Cassian. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Strong defensive effort. Nice zone entry from the middle. Moves it to Nelson. And that's blocked. His reflexes on display tonight. Carries it in. Hangs onto the puck. Stays with it. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. Let's the wrister go. Denies him in front. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. The Oilers have it against the wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Feeds the puck to Neal. Nice pass. New York's got possession here in the neutral zone. 
And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Puck picked up by Sisikis. Quick pass to Clutterbuck. Stopped by the goaltender. Tries to get the puck to Ennis. Sent into the offensive zone. New York's got the puck along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Edmonton's got the puck. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked up along the wall by Turris. Tries to get it to Neal. Jabs the puck away. Neal's going to play it to the corner. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Takes the puck along the boards. Takes a shot. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Varlamov. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Couldn't complete the play. New York's got a hold of the puck. Here's a short pass to Neal. The Oilers play it along the boards. Right in the slot, and they can't connect. And there's the whistle. Yet another penalty set to be handed out here. Tripping is the call. Did he sell or is that the right one in your no, mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed and the stick gets into his feet. Another power play opportunity coming up here. I like the way that their plan has been successful and it's pretty obvious they're going to stay with that same mode. Nelson's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Shot! And he comes up with it. New York's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. Lights them up into the boards. And the puck's knocked loose. A chance, and he makes the save. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Gains the zone on the left wing. Nice poke check. Edmonton's regained possession of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. It's a two-on-one. New York's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Rister gives them nothing in front. He scores! It looked like he had made the save, but that's in the back of the net for a goal. I always have zero sympathy for the goalie. That's a tough break. Bad break for him, you bet. But the puck goes into the net after somehow it's funneled that way and it bounces around into the cage. New York's doubled it up here in this second period. Like the way that they've played this last little bit of hockey, they've pushed the pace again. Now they're within a few minutes of having a good intermission. There's the whistle as the puck sails onto the bench. Anders Lee, assisted by number seven, Jordan. Here in the late goings of the period, the Islanders now lead by two. 19 minutes, three seconds. Second period nearly in the books here. Puck grabbed by Del Cole. The Islanders take it along the wall. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Oh, and he missed the opportunity there. New York's got the puck along the boards. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Dismiss that chance. Confidence just oozing from him as he's one of the top players in the league in points here in these playoffs. The Islanders have generated plenty of quality scoring chances and a big reason why they lead late in the second period. Both teams have gotten on the board, and this one has been pretty much a dogfight through the first 40 minutes as the period comes to an end. Every playoff game, our team store brings you our item of the game. Stay warm and stylish.
Price here at the rink with a scarf tonight priced at just ten dollars. Make sure the third period is moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. Hurry as supplies are limited. It's about to go down, period number three. James Savalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. Here we go, put up a shut up for both teams here in this third period, we are underway. Comes up with a stop. Moves it quickly over to Everley. Oh, and another big stop. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Nugent Hopkins plays it against the boards. Takes a shot, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Now, I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. New York's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. McDavid's won the draw here in the open ice. Bears got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Takes the feed. Sends it across. Misses. Missed by a large margin. You're right in the middle of the ice. You wait all game for this chance. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. And now he moves it quickly to Lee. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Koskinen's gonna cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Lots of time left in this period. New York's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Dreisaitl's won it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Cahoon. Excellent stick work on the play. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. The Islanders have it now. New York's moving it into the offensive end. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Jones plays it now. Moves the puck across to Barry. Quick feed to Dreisaitl. Rocked him in the open ice. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. 
streaking through center. They go on the attack. Beauvilliers loving the puck. The Oilers take possession in the neutral zone. With the steal. Moves it to Del Cole. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Quick pass to Neal. Here's a chance. From the slot, wrist shot, stones him in front. Barlamov's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. New York's in now. Taken along the wall by Mayfield. And he regains control of the puck. Feeds it down low. Takes the pass. Jostling for the puck and it's knocked away. Gains the zone from the right. Here's a shot. Love save made by Barlama. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. The Islanders lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. The Islanders look to start the transition game. One on one with the goaltender. Here we go. Scooped up along the wall by Russell. The defenseman will go off as the puck is dumped in. New York's got a hold of it against the wall and tries to make a diagonal pass to Komarov. Right in front with the shot. Big time stop. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Here's a short pass to Sizikis. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. Koskinen's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. We're going to back this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Islanders are up 3-1. Wrist shot from the slot. Stick save for the goalie. Looks to get the puck over to Pugliarvi. Quick feed to McDavid. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. Ah, he'll check his stick after this. He makes the save on a really good scoring chance. The Islanders have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. New York's got it in the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Everle. Feeds it over to Pellick. The Islanders are on the attack. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Sends a pass over and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Here's a shot, denies him in close. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. Dry Seidel's won the draw here in the offensive zone. A chance, and the stick is best friend on that save right there. Puck knocked loose after that hit. New York's playing it from the side. Great save by the goaltender on that redirect. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. They've got the defense outnumbered. Edmonton's got it along the wall. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Yamamoto. Stopped by the goaltender. And now it's grabbed by Pellick. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Moves it to Del Cole. Puck scooped up by Dreisaitl. Loses his balance on the play. Angles it over to Pasho. New York's got it against the boards. The Islanders carry it along the wall. Knocked away. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. Big save. New York's gained possession along the boards. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. Dreisaitl's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. 
As soon as he stops skating, he has to reach out with his stick. Parallel to the ice, it's going to get called most every time. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Here's another power play for them, James. They've already scored on the power play tonight, so they must have some pretty good feel for it. They also have to be aware the penalty killers will adjust. They will have to, too. Lee's been on fire lately. His point streak starting to stretch out. This is when you feel like you'll score any game. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Crowd's been into this one right from the get-go. It's 3-1. Karras won it off the faceoff. Pushes it across to Jones. Slides the puck to Cassian. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. The Islanders have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. That's a textbook save by Koskinen. And now he tries to get it across to Nugent Hopkins. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Here's a short pass to Nurse. Dished on over to Barzell. The Islanders move it in. The Oilers have it against the wall. Trying to get back on the attack now. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Turns it away. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Everly's caught up with the hook and the official side. Back to the blue line. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Here comes the call. We got a minor penalty coming up for here. For sure, on this one. James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. New York's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. If your power play is successful, you can really take the wind out of the other guys. You've been successful all right with the man advantage. See if you can get another one. Russell's moving the puck through his own zone. Dishes it to Kara. They go on the attack through center. Great poke check on the reach. Stopped by the goaltender. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Kara's hack, not a popular one in the eyes of the officials here. That's a bad reaction. He's beat. He's out of position. He just turns around and whacks him. Just a good old-fashioned hack. New York's got a five-on-three and lots on their side. Too many times on a long five-on-three, the power play becomes static. Get it to the middle at the very least. Shoot it and make the penalty killers react. Good hit on the play. And look at this. It's a pair in all along. Shuts him down on the breakaway. Really good save as the shooter thought he had an opening, but it's turned aside. Wrist one in front, and that one's blocked. They fight for it along the boards. The Oilers gain possession of the defensive zone. Feeds the puck to Ennis. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Manages to hang on, and that's broken up. Yeah, puck doesn't get to the net. Good positioning by the defender. Good defensive stop with the poke check. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And they send it right back to him. Here's a shot. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Fires one. Denied by Varlamo. Koskinen's able to make the save as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. New York's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Nice job tying up his opponent. Dishes it to Beauvillier. And the penalty killers will get a well-deserved break here as they kill off the man advantage. 
Well, that seems like a big miss, James. Critical moment in the game, and the power play laid flat for them. Nelson's got it against the boards. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Keeps hold of the puck. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Denies him! He got all of it! Pinned up along the boards. And it's kicked away. The Oilers play it along the wing. New York's got the puck along the boards. The Islanders go to work on offense. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Slides it diagonally to Nurse. Takes the feed. Big play inside the defensive zone. Tremendous stop by Varlamov. And the puck's booted away. And now he angles it across to Barry. A chance on goal. Good positioning there to knock it away with the glove. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Shot and makes the save. You know when you're looking for a buddy in a crowded train station? Well, now you got to find a little puck through the bodies there. Good luck to you. Found it. And he gains the zone here. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Here's a chance. Makes the save. What a reaction with the blocker. Handles the puck. Quick feed to Beauvillier. Picked up along the boards by Del Cole. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Out front. And that one's broken up. Taken by Sizikis. Passes the puck over to Boychuk. And he slides it quickly to Del Cole. Pucks the puck away. Larson's got it in the defensive end. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Reads the pass perfectly and picks it off. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. And now he moves it to Turris. And that pass goes awry. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. The Islanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Smart heads off play to poke that one away. Puck picked up by Barzell. Fires towards the empty net. Scores into the empty net. How many of these do you have again? Not very many. I mean, you're out there to defend the lead. You're not out there to score, but this is just a nice little perk. They'd really have to screw this up now, James, to lose. The empty netter should put it away. The Islanders wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game. They have done just that and then some here in the third. Another Islanders win and bring on the yes movement. I love this chant. The building just erupts when the players go to center ice. My name is James Sabalski, and on behalf of Ray Ferraro, thanks so much for hanging out with us. What an intense evening from this playoff atmosphere.